Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a problem that seems to afflict a lot of people dealing with your columns and the layouts. Let's say you've got this spreadsheet here. You've got several columns. You've got a lot of metrics here or measures and you want to add one more category. You want to add the product ID. So come over here, you bring the product ID over, you drop it, add all members, and all of a sudden now your category and your segment is kind of scrunched into one column. You don't want that. Here's the simple answer. Come under analysis, go down to table layout, go over to advanced. And what you're going to see here on advanced is in this middle section here is rows. Maximum level of row labels. If you put it up to seven, because you've got now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven row headers. If you put seven and apply, you'll now see that it is vertical, which isn't really what we want. At least I don't want that. So you see the next one here is maximum level of horizontal row labels. You need to make that seven as well. Apply, and now you've got all seven headers. Pretty easy. What happens if you don't put the maximum row at seven? You apply, you get scrunched again because you're only allowed to have six. Okay, here's the other one. See this columns down here? This is you may not run into the situation very often, but you see I've changed it to two. We're going to apply. Come under um, years. You've got the years over here. We're going to expand that or tree down. So now we've got years and quarters, tree. And now you can see the same type of thing is happening with the headers of the rows. So go under analysis, table layout, advanced. And this time we will up the columns, maximum levels. So this is one level, horizontal, two levels, and then three levels. One, two, we'll apply that. We still have the sales. This is the um, measure label. So you maybe you want to boost that up one more too. There you go. It's very common problem. Please subscribe if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and leave your comments of other things you'd like to see. Thanks a lot.